Hey love and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, stick around because listen, you will enjoy my channel and please make sure to subscribe. If you've been watching for a while and have not yet committed, go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. I promise you, you will just keep learning and keep enjoying my channel. Okay. But anywho, y'all listen, today we are doing some color okay we are going to change it up a bit because it is a special occasion for me yes it's a special occasion because it is my birthday month it is my birthday month yes y'all scorpio season i am turning one year finer <laughs> so i am excited to color my hair to talk to you guys about locks and color, talk about what to expect when you color. So if this is your jam, please stick around because you know I am going to be dropping some gems about color. So stick around and go through the process with me and I will talk to you about anything you might want to know about color. So yes, so y'all join me as we celebrate by coloring my hair. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am using Redken for my uh, color brand. This is my first time using Redken. Typically, I am using Pravana, but I wanted the um, Pravana didn't really have the exact color that I wanted. So I went with Redken. So for my sides and back, as well as the base for the top, I am using 6RV. RV is red violet. So I am using 6RV and the 20 uh, developer because it's darker in those areas and I wanted to go, I wanted to have the tinted color, a hint of the uh, wine color. So I am going with the 6RV with a 20 um, developer. And then for the top, the areas that are already uh, lightened, I will be using a 5RV with the 10 volume because I don't need it to go lighter. So I am pretty much just depositing that color on my already blonde area. So as you apply this color, make sure that you are um, really saturating your hair with the color. The thicker your locks are, the more color you are going to need because the thickness, for some reason, it just soaks up that color. And so you just gotta make sure you have enough uh, color uh, to color your hair. I ended up using one and a half tube and y'all see the length of my hair. So if you have, you working with longer, thicker hair, you will definitely need more tube because each tube is like three ounces. And just for the root, um, just to do the sides and the back, it took all of the um, three ounce on the first bottle. And then since I just, uh, did the top in the 6RV that only took about half um, of the tube. So make sure you have enough color to do your whole head, okay? So longer, thicker locks require more color. Um, typically, if you have hair that's a uh, bra strap, um, uh, waist length, you're going to need about four to six tubes, depending on the thickness of your hair. If you have, if your locks are on the thinner side, then, you know, you might not need as uh, many tubes, but if you have thick hair and it's long, you're going to need a lot of tubes. Another reason why our locks take up so much color is that our locks are, you know, they're round, it's cylinder. So, most of the time when we color, you are coating the outside of that cylinder lock. Um, and if you squeeze the hair um, with the color in it, that color tries to seep through the center of the lock. It almost never makes it, but because it tries, it takes up so much color. So that is why a lot of times you're going to, especially when you have thick, thick locks, you're going to need a lot of color to really saturate that lock and keep in mind um, when your hair when your uh, locks are colored most of the time it is just the uh, outer area of the lock that is colored so you can still see some of the your hair's natural color 
through the lock even when you are colored. So now let's talk about color before you lock your hair. Some people ask, can they color before they lock their hair? I always tell people, yes, color before you lock your hair. But keep in mind the type of color you get. If you're doing like a black, reds, um, you're fine, but if you're going to go blonde, try to avoid going super blonde. Like the blonde that I have or the copper that I have in my, uh, the tip in my front, that is okay if you are um, going to color your hair before you lock. But if you're going to go any lighter than that, I really caution you not to because the lighter you go, the more um, damaging it is. And keep in mind, you cannot put conditioner in your hair when you are newly locked. So try to avoid going too light because if you go too light with the blondes and stuff, you will risk the hair, you risk your hair breaking off literally. Even if it's locked, it will still break color is very drying so it requires lots of moisture so that's why i'm saying do not go super blonde before you lock because you're not going to be able to deposit the amount of moisture you need in your locks um, when you are newly locked so if you're going to color stay in the safe colors uh, but please avoid going blonde because you won't be able to apply the amount of moisture you need without um causing your hair to slip and because we're trying to avoid the hair from slipping we yeah you cannot put any type of moisture in your hair so it makes no sense to go really blonde and for it to just break off because you cannot put any type of moisture um, in your hair if you are coloring to cover gray um I know there are some people that cannot stand the gray. I do have a couple of clients that I've been coloring their hair from day one, but they are just covering gray. So it's not like we're coloring the entire length of their lock. We're only doing the new growth. So there's ways to work around it when you're just doing the new growth. But if you have to color the entire length of the lock, I would not recommend it in the beginning. But you can... I. This is just what I say. If you have gray hair and your hair is already colored before you lock and then you lock and just want to keep your gray hair maintained, I typically do it for my clients. And what I do is I uh, tighten, I mean, I mean, I color the root, you know, with touch it up with the color at the root. And then I band the tips of the lock after I apply the color to the root, not on the shaft, not on the tips. Then I band the tips before I rinse out the color, shampoo the hair, and then once I'm done shampooing the hair, I take it out the bundle, okay? But I only do that when people are trying to just cover gray. If you're trying to do anything else, I do not recommend it. Okay, so I know you guys are wondering, okay, Pauline, how long do I need to wait before I color my hair after I am locked? So once you've locked your hair, you want to wait for your hair to have gone through the locking process before you can start coloring your hair. Meaning um, you want to get through that budding phase. You want your, um, for some people, their ends work would close. Some people ends will still remain open. So for some people, you don't have to wait till your ends completely close because some people ends just take extremely long time to close. And some people ends don't close at all, but they are still considered locked. So yes, um, you definitely would want to check with your consultant to see, uh, or your loctician to see when it is safe to color. Um, if you color too prematurely, you will be do dealing with slippage, um, with your, um, in your locks. So make sure that you consult with someone before coloring. It can take anywhere from six months to one year to three years before someone can color. It all depends on your hair, the texture, and so forth. But I am two strand twisting my locks that came completely undone, which is something that you can do too to avoid 
paying a bunch of slippage money. You can braid that uh, lock. You can two strand twist that lock. Either or it's going to lock. So if you're trying to avoid um, paying a bunch of repair fees, if you, you know, you, you got to have some color, then that's one thing you can do. Twist or braid um, those slipping locks. Okay. Okay. Back to locks. So after your hair is uh, mature and you can now color your hair, in my experience, the best time to color your hair is when you have new growth because I, can, I don't know if y'all can see the root of my hair. The color saturates a lot easier when you have new growth because it's not locked. So it's not trying to fight to get through the lock. Okay. So that loose hair at the root, it is so much easier to color and it takes a lot better. So if y'all can see my new growth is nice and plum looking and then the locks where it started locking right on top of the new growth is still dark because it's so hard to, you know, penetrate through several strands. So your outcome looks better when on, on uh loose natural hair, right? So when you need a retightening and you also need to color your hair, Color your hair first and then retighten your locks because it's going to have a better outcome. It's going to look better. Okay, so what you can expect when you color your hair, if you are completely locked, you nothing will happen. As long as you moisturize your hair really well daily, um, you're good. But if you're not completely locked and you color your hair, do expect for your ends to open up some more and possible slippage. Now, if you cut and then color your hair, be ready for some mad open ends and potentially mad slippage like I'm going through right now because a couple of months ago, I cut and colored my hair. So I had a bunch of um, my ends opened up, bunch of slippage. So I am dealing with that right now. And then I'm still coloring. Y'all see I'm not, <laughs> I don't care. I, I love my ends open because it gives me that volume that I'm looking for. So open ends aren't my concern. Um, so if it doesn't bother you, then hey, but you will, if you cut in color, you will experience lots of shedding like I am right now. Um, but if you just color and not cut, you will not experience uh, shedding. So color does loosen your hair texture or curl pattern, causing your ends to open up. That's it. And the biggest thing to keep in mind when you color your hair is moisture, moisture, moisture. That is why we say wait till after you are locked because that is when you can moisturize, condition, and do all of that stuff without causing slippage, okay? So moisture, moisture, moisture to avoid dry locks. But that is it, y'all. Look at my hair. My sister tightened up my hair. Yes, yes, yes. So I am back. Your girl is back. Uh, color is nice and fresh. What y'all think about my color? Let me know. Do you guys like me better in blonde or do you guys like me in this wine color? Um, I love them either or, but I prefer the blonde. But hey, we're going to do this for the fall. Change it up for my birthday coming up in a couple of days. So yes, let me know what y'all think. Yes, yes, yes. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Yes. Bam, bam, bam. But yeah, I might be going live on my birthday on Monday. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, like and subscribe.